Yosemite is open. We have a seven day vehicle pass. We're headed into the park. We're gonna tell you all about how you can get this pass and what the experience is like during COVID. When we found out that you could get a day pass to take your car through Yosemite and that yeah. it was only 20% occupancy, we thought we have to do this. We love, we live in Southern California and for us it was an easy drive. So we went online yeah. and got that pass. And we'll put a link in the description. So if you're yep. interested in getting the vehicle day pass or even the camping, check our description for that link. So I've been coming to Yosemite since I was like 15 years old. And usually it is packed full of people. I have never in the 20 something years I've been coming here seen this few amount of people. This is gonna be really, really cool to see. So I'm really excited. I've never seen this few people, it's insane. This is normally a bus stop, but the buses are not running because of COVID. We just did a little trail run to Mirror Lake. It was pretty, but one of the best things was the fact that there were maybe 10 people along the way. It's so peaceful, so serene. I've never seen Yosemite like this. It's awesome. Uh, we're gonna head to Curry Village to show you what that's like during COVID, so let's go. So we're in Curry Village and it's a really cute little village area. They have a gift shop, they have a grocery store, a couple places to eat, a pizza place, a bar. They're actually under construction right now during COVID. This is also actually where the showers are. So you can bring all your shower stuff, come here and shower. Right now during COVID, the Meadow Grill is the only spot open for food. They do have food trucks out there. Everybody's social distancing, wearing masks. It's definitely a spot to come and check out and spend a little time. I highly recommend when you come here, bring a bike. It's super easy to get around. We're at North Pines Campground. This is a spot that Josh and I have stayed with friends several times. It's an amazing campsite and you'll see that because of COVID, it's currently closed. It says close for the winter, but obviously it's not winter. It's actually 94 degrees right now. <laughs> but Josh is gonna show you one of our favorite things to do when we come here. So this is literally my favorite thing to do in Yosemite. All the hikes are great. All the things you can do in Cur Curry Village. Everything here is great, but this is my favorite. Grab one of these rafts. I'll put a link down in the description. Super cheap, super underrated. Grab some friends, grab some rafts, grab some drinks and float down the river. See Half Dome, see the falls. It's awesome. My favorite thing to do in Yosemite. And of course, we had to see some waterfalls. So we started with Vernal Falls. One thing to note during COVID is that this trail is one way up and one way down from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you go up the Vernal Falls Trail and then you go out the John Muir Trail. We decided to continue up to Nevada Falls. This trail was more uphill and it was also exposed to the sun, which was really hot because it was 92 degrees, but the views were gorgeous. We finally made it to the top and had another amazing view. One thing to note is that you do not wanna go down the same way you came up like we did. We created a full video to give you more of an inside look at the waterfalls and to tell you all about our mistakes, so make sure to check it out. So this is literally, I'm not exaggerating at all, the lowest amount of water I've ever seen at Yosemite Falls. Honey, if you pan actually over here, normally over here what you're looking at is filled with water and it's splashing right here. I'd be getting soaked with water. I've never seen it so low. So hopefully when you come here, we'll get a little bit more rain and this will be a little bit more flowing for you. We did not have plans to come to Yosemite this year, but we, when we learned it was open on a limited basis and that you could get a seven day vehicle pass, we knew that we had to come and get the VIP experience. We got our pass the same day we tried. 
but it's never that easy, right? No, it's not like that at all. So for about 20 years, we've been coming and usually how it goes is me and about 10 of my friends wake up early in the morning as soon as the online registration opens. Usually we go online to try to get a spot about six months in advance. And literally as soon as seven o'clock hits, all of us go refresh, 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 refresh. And usually one out of 10 of us get it because it's so popular and such a sought after spot to come. And for us to get the spot the same day when we went online was unprecedented. So if you have the time to do it right now, I highly recommend because you'll probably be able to get a spot a lot easier than normal. We stayed in this cute Airbnb in the city of Awani, which was about 10 minutes from Oakhurst and about an hour and a half drive to Yosemite Valley. We booked it before we realized that we could have tried to get a camp spot two days before our arrival. So we highly recommend that you try to get a camp spot so that you don't have to make that drive. Normally these streets are packed with cars and you wouldn't be able to run on a street like this because the shuttle and other cars could go through. But right now during COVID, a lot of the streets are actually closed off. There's also a lot of wildlife out right now because there's less people. We heard about a couple of bears, but we didn't see any ourselves. Be careful for these squirrels. They will try to get into everything. We are so happy we made the trip and got to experience Yosemite with so few people. So if you're interested in traveling to Yosemite, they are doing the seven day drive and pass now until October 31st. And quite honestly, this might be the best time to come, the once in a lifetime opportunity sure. to see the park at 20%. Yeah, life is good if when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling to Yosemite. Unfortunately, our trip ends here, but we got a lot more in store for you, right? Yeah, uh, we're going to try to explore some of our backyard in Orange County. And we have no idea what's going on with COVID. We did book some international trips like to where? Thailand and the Maldives. So subscribe so you can follow along on those journeys. See if we actually get to go or what it's like traveling during COVID. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. It will help other people yep. see it. And we would love to know what was your favorite part of the video. Or if you have a question about, you know, coming here, drop it in the comments and we'll make sure to get back to you. Oh, we almost caught a death on film. <laughs>